LBJ wanted a real war, but the resolution he had put to Congress had been shelved. What I want is somebody that can lay out some plans to trap these guys and uh, whoop hell out of them, kill some of them. That's what I want to do. I'll try and bring something back that will meet that objective. After what he called an unprovoked attack, he got his resolution. Congressional leaders of both parties supported the Gulf of Tonkin resolution. In fact, only two members of Congress voted against the resolution, Senators Morse of Oregon and Greening of Alaska. Being in the minority never proves that you're wrong. In fact, history is going to record that Senator Greening and I voted in the interest of the American people this morning when we voted against this resolution. And I'd have the American people remember what this resolution really is. It's a resolution which seeks to give the President of the United States the power to make war without a declaration of war. The Gulf of Tonkin resolution was not a declaration of war. There never was a declaration of war in Vietnam, but it served much the same purpose. The President was given broad powers to wage war. But what the Congress did not know, what the country did not know, is that the second attack in the Gulf of Tonkin may never have happened. We now know beyond any reasonable doubt that it did not happen. If one telegram, which we later found from Commander Herrick of the Maddox, had been made available to the committee at that time, I'm quite sure they would have had long hearings, gone into it thoroughly, and if they'd been able to discover the facts as they actually were, I don't believe they'd passed the resolution because it was based upon absolutely false erroneous information. The events as they related them of August the 4th, 1964 were not true. Our ships were, it was not an unprovoked deliberate attack. In fact, there was no attack at all. The captains in the Gulf reported what they were ordered to report. It's also been suggested that Washington was putting a great deal of pressure on you to come up with some positive answers to what happened that night. A positive answer being, yes, we were attacked. Well, I'm sure they needed one. And that's what we were trying to obtain for them, and we did, and uh, we sent it in. The gunners shelled an empty golf. Just above the bridge of the Maddox, where Captain Herrick was, is the main gun director. And inside the director was the sailor who was in charge of firing those powerful five-inch guns. His job was to open fire once the enemy targets were spotted on radar or sonar. Those are the main methods for detecting targets you can't see directly. The man in charge of the main gun director, August 4th, 1964, was a four-year veteran. He was also an expert sonar man, Patrick Park. Park is now a businessman in Los Angeles. Tell me, do you think that night, August 4th, in the pitch black,